Hello. Um, if you have MND, motor neuron disease, uh, please uh, don't switch off. But I'm going to read you something from the Bible that uh, could be of absolute importance uh, to you uh, at this time. The verse is found in Romans chapter 3 and verse 22. And so God accepts people only because they have faith in Jesus Christ. All of us have done wrong and come short of God's holy standard. But God treats us so much better than we deserve. And because of Jesus Christ, He freely accepts us and sets us free from all our sins. I've got to say, I accepted Jesus Christ to be my saviour. If you jump out of a plane, there's two things you can do. One, you can flap your arms really hard hoping that that will do the job. Or you can pull the cord of the parachute on your back. If you do number one, you are relying totally on your own self. Listen, I worked six years in a maximum security prison and you could ask many people in that place, are you a good person? And they would say, yeah, I'm a good person. The thing is, we have this idea that God will accept us based on our goodness. And that's not the case because we all have a different measurement and idea on what's good and what's good enough. <laughs> and um, it's like jumping out of a plane and crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. And man, that's no way to do it. And we all get a turn in dying. We're not special just because you know, we've been diagnosed with a terminal condition. It's the process of life and to trust in yourself and hope for the best. That's not what God wants you to do. God sent Jesus to be the saviour of the whole world. When you <laughs> put your trust 100% in the parachute 
is something outside of you that doesn't depend on your ability, goodness, or, or good works. But you just pull that parachute that is meant to save you. You'll be okay. And God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins. You know, it's a big deal because sin is the thing that keeps me and the thing that keeps everyone out of God's heaven. But God is such a merciful and loving God that he sent his son to die in our place for our sin so that he could extend his hand of friendship. That verse that I read is a wonderful verse. It says, we are made acceptable to God. I mean, God wants to accept us. It also said that through the death of Jesus, we have peace. You know, one of the tormenting things that can occur when someone says you, you're going to die is the torment of fear, the torment of what's going to happen to me, will I make it, uh, will God even like me? And we get tormented by the things that we've done in our uh, lifetime and we think, oh, we're in big trouble. But this verse said, it's like God has said, everything's okay. I've got it all covered. And so you're, my son has not only made you acceptable to me, but he has brought peace in the relationship between you and me. And that peace will extend right down into your mind, into your heart, and into your spirit. You don't have to worry. It's all been done for you. You don't have to do a thing. You don't have to try and work at it. My son has done it all for you. Just put your trust in him and you will enter into my love, into my world, into my foreverness. You will have it. The Bible says this. He said that we have eternal life through Jesus Christ who loves us. How about that? God has got everything at hand. So I want to say we don't have to worry. God's got it under control. And all it takes is to put your faith and trust in Him. I did that when I was 19 years of age and I never realised the impact and the influence 
that it will have on my soul and my mind and my spirit. I tell you with absolute honesty, I tell you that people say to me, how come you're not losing your mind? How come you're so at peace? How come you're holding it all together? Well, I can't boast and say it's me. I just say, um, it's God. I put my whole trust in him and he has flowed his peace down into my life. And I'm not faking it. I'm not trying to, you know, pull myself up by my bootstraps or trying to work at it. No, it's just something that God uh, gives me. It said what I just read. It said we have peace with God through Jesus Christ. And I've got to tell you, that peace is better than money. It's better than anything that I could buy in the shops. And I feel sorry for people that can use their body can talk properly, <laughs> can eat and swallow and all those things. I feel sorry for them because on the inside there's turmoil, torment of their heart and soul. And I, I say this video <coughs> to whoever wants to listen because I think it's wonderful the things that God has for us. And without money and without price but they're as real as real as you see me sitting here right now. And so, um, I'll finish up now by saying to put your faith in Jesus is the simplest thing in the world. A little child can do it. All we need to do is say, God, I open up my life to you and I open the door of my heart and I ask you to come into my heart and save me and forgive me from my sin. And then I pray, God, now I close the door of my heart with you on the inside. Be my God this day and forever. That's how I kind of pray that. You can use your own words. <laughs> But God, who sees everything, will see your prayer and you watch what will happen. The greatest thing in the world, in my view, is to know God and to receive salvation and the gift 
Oh, but I don't know what I...